Hello guys, today let's talk about soft deletes in Eloquent in Laravel based on a tweet by Nuno Maduro that was pretty polarizing. Nuno is saying that he tries to avoid them as much as possible after experiencing trouble in multiple production apps. And I decided to dig deeper and explain what Nuno means in practice, or at least how I understand those cases. And actually the tweet became pretty polarizing, so not only 300 likes, but also 50 comments from both sides of the spectrum. People swearing that soft deletes are terrible, and on the other hand, people that use them in every project and swear that it's a great thing. So in this video, I'll show you four problems, four potential problems that you may encounter while using soft deletes. Also, I will show you two alternatives if you want similar behavior but don't want to use eloquent soft deletes. And finally, at the end, we will talk about non-technical reasons for soft deletes. First, personal experience, I tend to use soft deletes in almost every project just in case. Because from user perspective, many times in many client projects, I had to recover data. I had to try looking for transactions from two years ago, which didn't exist. So I had multiple, multiple real life cases where people wanted to access the data that was actually deleted or luckily soft deleted. Typical use case in our quick admin panel generator was someone deleted their panel and wanted to recover that after a few years. And the thing is, everyone is saying, no, I didn't delete anything. I don't know what happened. And that may be true because maybe some teammate of theirs deleted that record. So in other words, things happen and I tend to be on the safe side. That's why I do use soft deletes but it is pretty dangerous if you use them blindly. Let me show you examples. So here I am in my project where I use soft deletes on two models. So user soft deletes and then task soft deletes and user has many tasks. And based on that, let's look at four reasons why you may not like soft deletes. The first reason is performance. It is slower. What do I mean by that? So here I am in my Tinkerwell. I launch user all. And if we click on SQL, what is the actual SQL query? Select from users where deleted at is null. Basically, wherever you use soft deletes all the time, it will add where user deleted at. And it may not be slower on smaller tables for small amount of data, but if your table grows to millions of records, that condition may bite you with performance. The second reason why you may not like soft deletes in Eloquent, because they are, well, in Eloquent, but they are not automatically enabled when you use Query Builder or raw queries. So for example, if I run this statement, let's see the queries. The first query is with where condition, the second one is without it. So if you're trying to optimize for performance, for example, and use Query Builder instead of Eloquent or raw queries instead of Eloquent, then all the time you need to remember to filter out the deleted records manually. So you do something like that every time where you need to use Query Builder and then those queries are almost identical. So the risk is to forget in some cases that there's soft deletes while running non-eloquent database operations, which may be by someone else on your team in the future, especially on the team with like 10 developers or more, the risk of error becomes pretty high. The third reason why you may not like soft deletes, that it doesn't use cascading operations on a database level, which means that if I delete a user, user's tasks, are not automatically soft deleted. Let me demonstrate. So we have a user from the database, user ID one, and let's try to delete it. We execute and the actual SQL query is update users set deleted at. Great, and now if we try to look for first user, now it returns the ID two. So user ID one isn't returned. But in the database, in the tasks table, if we try to find tasks with user ID one, they are perfectly fine. They are not deleted or soft deleted. So if I run this operation of task where ID, we have the tasks returned, even though the user is soft deleted. One of the solutions to that is a package by Michael Dorinda, Laravel Cascade Soft Deletes, very popular, thousand stars on GitHub, which just makes the cascading of soft deletes on eloquent level. And the fourth reason why you may not like soft deletes is the problem with unique constraints. So for example, users table in Laravel by default comes with unique key on the email. Basically every email is unique and no two users should have the same email. 
But look at our situation. We deleted the first user, soft deleted, here with deleted ad. And now let's try to register with the same user. For simplicity, let's do that with user factory create, just overriding the email. If we run that, we get an SQL error on the database level, duplicate entry for that email. And then you have a choice how to solve it. For example, when deleting the records, updating the email with prefix like deleted or archived or something like that. But it's another just potential problem that you need to solve when using soft deletes. And don't get me wrong, those four reasons are all solvable relatively easily, but it requires additional energy from development team to know about what additional work is required with soft deletes. Now I will show you two potential solutions instead that you may want to use instead of using soft deletes. And the first solution is the most popular reply to that tweet by Punyapal here. So there's a package Spati Laravel deleted models. It allows you to copy the deleted records to a separate table. So you do have that data, but in a separate kind of archive. So then all those potential problems that I mentioned before are not relevant anymore because you actually hard delete data from your main table into a separate archive. So that's one solution. And then another potential solution, alternative solution, I want to show you not Laravel package or any technical solution, but the idea. So in my Google Keep, I use it for my notes. You can see two menu items, archive and bin. So for every note, you may choose to archive it or delete it. And those are two separate functionalities. Archive is basically just a separate folder, which you may want to go to sometime and then unarchive or delete. From what I remember, there's nothing happening automatically. Archive is present until you decide to restore or delete the records. And by the way, this note is an archive. At some point, I wanted to repurpose Laravel Daily with AI, but it failed miserably. So I almost don't use AI for Laravel Daily content at all. But for example, if I click that note, I have a choice. Delete note, so move that to bin or unarchive the node, so get it back to the main list. But then the interesting part is that deleting the node doesn't hard delete it right away. Look what happens. In the bin, I have the notes which I tweeted, then it turned into tweets and I deleted them because I don't need them anymore. Those are published already. But then look, notes are deleted after seven days. So there's automatic cron job every seven days, hard deleting those records. Or you may choose to empty the bin manually. So this is kind of the more sophisticated approach to deleting records in general, which I think has good things from both worlds. It's kind of soft delete on steroids. Thinking about it, maybe I would need to create a project trying to implement something like this. Shoot in the comments below if you want me to do that. And the final note in this video is non-technical reasons for soft deletes. And a few people replied to Nuno about that, like Willem here. He's talking about enterprise use cases with data recovery or auditing. There may be legal reasons that you have to comply with to store records for a certain amount of time. For example, transactions, financial transaction records or school grades for many years while the student is at that school and stuff like that. So in some cases, it's not your technical decision whether to use soft deletes, but actually a legal one. But likewise, in some cases, it may be the opposite legal requirement something like GDPR or similar things that may require you to hard delete the data if the user is asking you for that. In that case, again, the decision is not technical for you to decide whether to use soft deletes, but you just do what the law says to do. What do you think? Which side are you on mostly? To soft delete or to not soft delete? And I specifically made a cap specifically for these cases like in this video. It depends, right? That's it for this time and see you guys in other videos.